Hello, my name is Vanessa Barragão and I'm a textile artist focused on sustainable and ecological process. I believe that culture and creativity together can bring sustainable and ecological ways for people to be more conscious about their actions. Our understanding of the world is often shaped by the films we watch, the music we listen to, and the stories we read. Cultural expressions are all around us. They can reshape our relationship with nature and redefine the way we live, produce, and consume. Vanessa Barragao uses her work to do just that. Sustainability is very important for me and for my studio. I use recycled materials and coral reefs as my main inspirations. Everything I use, I want to be recycled, so upcycling from textile industry. My goal is to have zero waste production of materials. The UNESCO flagship global report, reshaping policies for creativity, addressing culture as a global public good, highlights the transformative role that the cultural and creative sectors can play for sustainable development. In particular, it shows how the UNESCO 2005 Convention on the Protection and Promotion of the Diversity of Cultural Expressions has supported countries to integrate culture into their sustainable development plans and strategies. Well, a key strength of the 2005 Convention is that it, it forces policymakers to take wide and cross-sectoral views of the place and the contribution of culture in development. We see countries using many different pathways to integrate culture on action in education, in social inequality, in gender equality. Yet, greater efforts are needed to ensure that culture is fully protected and promoted as a global public good, which can be shaped and accessed equitably by all people. We must further build on culture's potential to enhance inclusive and transformed societies through the economic, social and environmental benefits it provides particularly for the youngest generations. In many countries, a lack of support limits the role culture and creativity can play. According to UNESCO's Reshaping Policies for Creativity, the culture and recreation sectors receive only a marginal share of the official development assistance available for developing countries, at just 0.23%. This funding is decreasing. Today it is just one third of what was available before 2008. We saw a sharp fall already in the minimal part of uh, ODA dedicated to culture and recreation after the 2008 financial crisis. So there's a real risk that following the COVID crisis, we see, we see another fall. We need to invest in the power of diverse cultural expressions and creativity for climate action and sustainable development. We need stronger partnerships between governments, civil society, the private sector and artists to design and implement effective strategies and to exchange good practices where cultural expressions are part of the solution for a sustainable and climate smart future. This is why climate action was put high on the agenda of the UNESCO World Conference on Cultural Policies and Sustainable Development, Mondia Cult 2022, where the world's ministers of culture have come together to promote inclusive and resilient cultural policies for the years to come. As an artist, we have the power to impact people and the governments have the power to create the policies. If we work together for climate change and to raise awareness about this issue, we will be stronger. Fostering sustainable cultural and creative industries can inspire creative solutions and stronger policies for climate action. And together, we can build a more resilient and sustainable future for all. I believe we can change our worlds with our creativity.